love, light, and blessings. This is Shamanic Awake Priestess here. I'm going to try to keep this video quick because I have a lot of stuff to show, but I'm going to show it for a purpose. So I'm always talking about when spirits do things for us, I like to thank them. So I give them some type of physical offering, whether it's buying something that pertains to them, things that I know they like. Um, for instance, if I'm serving, um, okay, I'm going to do an example, La Madama. Let's just do one example. I've talked about her. She's very good with, uh, me publicly recognizing her. Um, when she does something for me, for example, if I know she has a favorite food, I will cook that for her or I'll buy her a candle with her image and so on and so forth. So, um, I bought like six bags of candles, but there are a lot of, a lot of repeat candles. So I'm not going to show like each individual one. I just got one of each. So, um, I got saint candles, um, for the purpose of thanking, um, certain spirits for doing things for me. Um, so like honoring, um, so I got different kinds for that. Um, I always like to thank the spirits for everything that they do in my life, for guiding and protecting me. It's a candle. Sorry, my son walked in. I had to pause the video. He didn't know I was recording. So, um, different saint candles um, as a thanksgiving to all these spirits that um, have been doing things for me. I've been answering my petitions and things of that nature. So, um, just giving, um, got several saint candles. Um, I'm going to be doing a working with this one along with other candles. Um, very. Okay. I love these two, the, the cup. And like I said, you can always, um, put other candles in it too. Um, we use them too. Um, so these are the same candles that I got. I synchronize saints with, uh, voodoo and Santeria spirits. So with the orishas and the Malala. So, okay. And then, um, got more of this candle. I used to supply my workings. I love this very, uh, multi-purpose candle. I love them very much to work with them. So, and I get all these from the Spanish store that I go to. Um, I like these, the seven color ones. I think you guys have seen these seven color candles. Um, so I like these too. You can use them for, um, La Madama likes them, uh, Los lo Siete Macho Indio. Um, you could use them for the seven African powers, things like that. Um, I like using this three candles, three color candles. There's a certain spirit that I have that she loves these. So whenever she does something for me, I give her an offering along with the candles. Always have white candles because they pretty much cover everything in life. So, and uh, working with uh, what more red candles too which can be used for mo both positive and painful rituals. Um, I got these small little ones too. I got yellow. And, um, and then I got this red one. Okay, so I got those. Sorry for like, I don't know what's going on with my camera that is making it seem like I'm waving things around. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you a couple of more things, okay? One second. Um, more than one candle. So, um, more than one different kind of candles. I have like six bags. So like I said, I'm going to show one of each. So I also got ancestral candles. Can you guys see that? It's beautiful. Indio candle. I like using this to um, honor the native spirits. And then um, more angel candles. And then we have 
me um, another saint. And then I bought some Fast Luck Cologne. Okay, so what else with the cologne? Um, so I got that. Going on. I got some long um so like I said, this is a good way to thank the spirits when they do something for you. You could get even just a candle with their um images on it or their color correspondences, or you could even get a white candle and print out a picture of them, you know, whatever works for you dedicated to them just to say thank you because as much as it's great to do spells and rituals and stuff there's nothing like thanking a spirit for doing something um they're, they're just like people they have feelings so like if i do something for somebody i like to get recognition for what i do um i got this nice long um matches for like um novena candles because some spirits actually don't like when you um like the instant, like the lighters. Um, I got some cottonseed oil, which I'm going to use um, as one of the oils I'm going to put in some of my um, spirit lamps. Okay, so this is good for spirit lamps because I work with, um, I work with, um, I make Hulu lamps. So, this is good um, for adding as an ingredient in a hula lamp or something like that. So um, I got some um, boratic acid for some work. I got some red peppers. I'm going to use this in some oils that I'm going to be making as one of the ingredients. Um, I also got some tea tree oil. So I like to add herbs into my hoodoo lamps. But I also like to add oils and things like that. Um, more cinnamon, because I use a lot of cinnamon in my spirituality. Um, I'm also, ooh, brown sugar. These are, there's spells that I do with brown sugar. I love brown sugar. Um, give me one second, I'm going to post the video. And then I have um, Florida water. Soap. I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. Florida water soap. And um, kosher salt. Because I have a ritual that calls for that that I'm going to be doing. So um, I like this because sometimes I don't have time to um, make baths. And I take a lot of spiritual baths because of everything that I do. So... I always have a backup Florida water soap, which is very good for exorcism and removing negativity and stuff like that. The, barat the baratic acid is for um, some negative things, I guess. You want to call it thing out? Okay, and like I said, I, I'm going to use the um, cottonseed oil and uh, the tea tree and lamps that I'm making. So I'm excited for that. Um... I'm going to pause one more time. I have a couple of more bags that I'm going to show you. And then I will be back very soon. I bought these, I think, for $2. All the candles that I'm showing you, the little ones were $0.94. Cents. The other ones were like $2.39. And these are four for $2. So basically like $0.50 cents each. Um, and then I got 72 candles for $8.99. These are all at my local Spanish... Uh, Eastern Market, well, um, formerly known as Sea Town. Um, the colognes, everything, and then I also use herbs. So I use um, I use this a lot in my spellcraft too. Um, uh, corn husk. I'm trying to think of an English name for it. These are good too for uh, corn dollies too, by the way. Poppets, things like that. Um, cat claws. I got some cat clones that was kind of calling to me. Um, I got some, these are all less than $2. I got some um, linden flowers. Got some holy herb, Oja Santa. 
got some um, more Oja Santa. I use a lot of that. Especially burning them fresh. Yelba Buena. Got some um, Palo de Brazil, so Brazil stick. Got some um, bay leaves. Okay, and as an offering, because I have to break like coffee, I got coffee candy. And then I got some candies for like, the little children's spirits. They love candy. And these herbs are going to be used for um, oils that I'm going to be making um, to burn, to make my own incense blends and burn them during rituals and spells. So very important to know your, and also for tea, so knowing your medicinal uses for things and your magical uses for things always comes in handy. I got these little bowls for 99, 99 cents. Um... And I like these because I can put a novena candle on it. Okay, and I can put like other like pictures, herbs, things like that in it. Um, I also have spells that I do with water and fire. So that also can get too. So I got four of those. So those are good with that. You can put your tea lights in there. Um, you can even create a hula lamp with that glass. Um, so I got a little cauldron, so cute. I'm gonna use this for rituals. It was $8.99. You can put some sand down there. You could put some uh, resins, like some um, your ashes. And then you can, I have a little, like a little candle stand that has little legs in the bottom and it's metal. So I'm gonna put this on top of that so that it's not close to my table. It doesn't sculpt my table. And I'm gonna use this when I'm doing rituals to um, burn my resins and petition and fire magic and all that stuff. So, and it was eight ninety nine, and it's a cauldron. It's not fancy, but cauldron this size. I have one this size, twenty five dollars. I got this for eight ninety nine at the Spanish store. You can also get um pestles and mortars in there, like everything. I got this big thing of cinnamon. Not that I have anything wrong with those online sites to sell herbs and things, but like I can't afford to pay a hundred dollars um, every five, you know, like every time for these herbs. I just get them, you know, over the counter. Um, Whatever is a little bit more exotic, I'll order from a botanica and things like that. But anyways, um, I have cayenne pepper, which I'm gonna be using for things. Um, so yes, with that. I'm going to pause one more time because I have to bend and get like maybe one more or two more bags and then I'll be done with this haul. Um, corn oil. I use these in my hula lamps and my kerosene lamps and things like that. You can burn like cooking oil on them. Just make sure you watch them. These are going to be used to cook so it can, these kind of oils can stand heat. And you can put this as the base and add your herbs and your curio and everything else and um, you got yourself a homemade hula lamp. So like our ancestors did. They didn't always have kerosene oil. So use fire safety. I'm making a legal disclaimer with that. Watch your own stuff because, you know, there are such things as fire. We always have to watch our candles and our hula lamps and things of that nature. So I'm not legally responsible if somebody takes my advice and burns their house down. Okay, um, more holy herb. Okay, yeah, we did this one. Linden flowers. Okay, we did that. I think that is it. Um, yep, that's it. I did that bag already, so... Yep, that's that's about it for my um hoodoo haul. Like I said, you can buy sight candles, you can synchronize those. I know the botanica sells them for like seven dollars. You can get the plain colors if you know what colors the spirits are. You can get the plain ones that I showed. They, in the Spanish market, they have all the colors. They even have pink candles. The only candles that don't have are black candles. Those I order online. Um, and I buy those by the bulk. And I do have one botanica that I go to for black candles. And I usually buy a bunch of them and then that's about it certain times of the year so 
Much love, light, and blessing. And Walmart. <laughs> much, much love, light, and blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that some of these tips can work. Um, you can use cooking oil to make your own oil blends because you're not selling them to anybody. Our ancestors use what they had. They didn't always have these very fancy mixing oils. And I'm not saying I never use those. I do for certain things, but when I don't have anything else, I use regular corn oil, cooking oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil. I use any of those as a, as a base, olive oil, anything that I have on hand. Because at the end of the day, it's all about giving the best that you have. And witchcraft and spirituality should be something that is affordable to whoever wants to practice, okay? Because I try to stay true to the whole idea of our ancestors used whatever they had. Much love, light, and blessings. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until the next video, guys. Bye.